All right, so we're starting off incredibly strong this time, and the reason why you can't play this Metroidvania is because it's not available yet. But I was lucky enough to have a preview build and it was so good, it inspired me to bring back the long lost Metroidvania monk. This is Gunbrella and it should be available this year. It takes place in this gritty, ultra-violent, noir punk metropolis where you play this man who immediately has his wife killed and his child kidnapped with the only evidence left behind, the aforementioned Gunbrella, which is exactly what you imagine it is. It's a Shotgun, that's also an umbrella. <laughs> Armed with this new unique weapon, you venture out on the journey to find who's responsible for your wife's demise. So when I get hit with a key for a game titled Gunbrella in my email, I thought I was in for a bit of a goof game, but boy howdy, I was wrong. After I saw that brutal introduction, man, don't get me wrong, this game is still goofy, but it is, um, it's like Hotline Miami goofy. After that though, we find ourselves awakening aboard a boat on our way to the city of Allendale. And this game immediately hits me with this dreadful atmosphere done completely through the sound effects and music. Even though it looks like this, <laughs> It perfectly captures exactly like one of my favorite vibes in a video game. But that's enough introduction. Enjoy the first four or so hours of Gunbrella. Gunbrella. All right, we have ourselves a journal, which apparently we've put our cup on. Get a train pass? Can do. Now, all the best Metroidvanias have benches to rest on. <laughs> Man, this umbrella does everything. Shoots, flies. Reflects bullets. Well, that's about it, but... Oh man, something about these off-tune sound effects, man. They hit me just right. Oh man. The speed runs for this game are gonna be insane. I am devastated I can't get this game soundtrack yet. If the developer it just happens to be watching this video, Please, <laughs> send me the soundtrack. Please! Now naturally, we can't ride the train without the train pass. And this is where we're introduced to our first small settlement. And it seems people aren't living that well off here at our King's Station. I decided to talk to the nice fruit vendor here to buy some, well, fruit. Now she mentions to us that her friend, Golden Rod, is coming to visit. But she hasn't heard from her for quite some time. And I'm, I'm sure she'll be fine. But this gives us our first side quest to find out what happens to her. Nothing happens to her, I swear. We'll, we'll find out a bit later. Naturally, I ask her about the Gunbrella. It's our only lead on the crime. And she tells us it's used to keep the, the rain off us. I don't think she understands my umbrella is also a shotgun. I also see what she's selling. But um, my $74 in my pocket isn't quite enough to cover the golden apple she's selling, so I move on. Okay, we got ourselves a sewer. A pretty early sewer, but this is fine, because it matches the essay. These frogs don't know I'm packing a fucking gumbrella. Oh my god! Yeah, they didn't stand a goddamn chance. Ratful, ratful, ratful! Did I pick up... <laughs> I picked up all these rats! That's what that wire button was doing. Okay, I got some rats, good. This guy wants all of our rats. Luckily we already picked him up, so we don't have to go back to the sewer. I'm full up on beautiful rats. Three rats for a train pass? Oh, brother, what a deal. All right, we can get on board the train. I don't think this is gonna go exactly where we need to go, but you know, It'll get us a little closer. Out of King Station. Alright. Not quite. Man, I... <laughs> There's something just very satisfying about the combat in this game. The flow, if you will. Got grenade? What the hell's a got grenade? Man, that is a, that is a tiny little man, and that is a gigantic bone. Man, I don't know how to start a sentence with Orwell without 
sounding weird. Orwell is our second town. We find a few new places to visit. Firstly, Bill's Pills, a shady character who recommends we buy all of his pills and just shove them all in our gullet. I uh, would not recommend this. There's this grandma with these kittens. Honestly, no complaints here, great spot. This cowboy won't let us pass. I try to outsmart him, but as per usual, it, um, it backfires pretty brilliantly. We also run into a lady named Adelaide, who is from Allendale, the spot we're trying to get to. I'm fairly sure she hits on us, so maybe we'll catch her later for a drink. Unless there's like another hotter lady we find. <laughs> Probably not. But the main attraction in Orwell, or more so the main situation, is the mayor is gone. Kidnapped by the local cult. And of course it's our duty to go rescue his ass. So we learn the secret phrase, kill a cat looks great from Bill of Bill's Pills. And we get past the cowboy to get into... More sewers, for fuck's sake. Oh, hello me, in five years, how's it going? Five bucks and you cook some critters? Hell yeah, man, why not? Oh, I need, a I need to supply the critters? I'm sorry, I gave all my rats to the other weirdo. All right, this cult has the gravity gun. Is that the mayor? I don't know, man. Hey, you looked directly at me before you did that, you fuck. Oh well, they closed the door, there's nothing I can do. Now believe it or not, this isn't the end of the game. The merchant just outside says he'll give us a key to the hideout if we get his very shiny gem back from inside. He seems pretty serious about it too. He says do not return to him if we don't have the gem. So if you guys could like remind me to get the gem while we're inside, um, I think that'll work. So any game I start, I start with the intention that I don't know if I'm gonna make a video about it. But this one, not only has it inspired me to make a video, it's inspired me to bring back a whole month. Oh my god! Getting a good night's sleep will do wonders for you. What the hell are you trying to say, man? Do you want Metroidvania month or do you want me to sleep? You can't have both. Okay, there, that's looking like the mayor right here. He <laughs> swimmed with the key off of him? Man, who is that? Is this cult got a hot leader? I'm signing up! I've never seen one of these. Okay, that's what happens, that's what he does. I am almost dead. We got him. Oh. He, I died, I don't have to come back, that's fine. Of course the next screen has a seat on it. What's up you cult bastards? There's only one good cult in this world. The Mouse Cult. And if you want to join our Discord, link's on the screen right now. Come on in, we could use new members. Use some new, some new, <laughs> some fresh blood. This is like, uh, I want to be the guy level in Super Meat Boy. This is, yeah, come on, that shit's easy. Oh, you're Goldenrod. Yeah, 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 I'll get you out. Oh my god! Okay. Can I have the jail keys, please? Oh, thanks! You sick freaks! You're giving cults bad names. Why don't you just suck out their bone marrow like we do? Uh... Good lord. Okay, that was really easy, but that was cool. Alright. Before we go get the mayor, make sure we rescue Golden right here. Do we have to, like, escort her out? Oh no, what the hell? What the hell is that? Um. Well. Okay, uh. This place has gone to hell. We gotta get it, we gotta go. You kill these things, they just respawn. Like they just, they come right back. Hello, mama. Okay, so I'm editing this now, and I said hello, mama, with no idea that that was her actual name. <laughs> this always happens to me. All right, Mr. Mayor, you gotta get the hell out of here. Not 10,000 kisses, what the hell? Go, yeah, we gotta go. I had to come back in, I forgot the gem. 
there was this locked door that I forgot about. I'm coming back to get the gem. Okay. We can't go back to the merchant without it. My man, you've done it! Yeah, let's give him the gem. I will not regret this. Hell yeah, brother. Alright. Hey ma'am, your friend was brutally jibbed by an alien fuzzball just as I rescued her. <laughs> Sorry. But we finally get to our goal location of Allendale. We meet the parasol officers who apparently kidnap kids, but more importantly <laughs> than kidnapping kids apparently, is that they use umbrella guns. This town also has this fellow chap, the Tinkerer. This is the man responsible for creating the Gunbrilla. He remembers the one that we're in possession of and says that one of his good friends owned it, but no way he's responsible for gunning down my wife in cold blood. The Tinker can also upgrade our Gunbrilla. Pretty poggers. Spikes. Ah, the, the bees! Okay. Hey, let us in, brother. Come on. Just... He, he doesn't have his bag of marbles. Okay, let's get his bag of marbles. Is that it? No, don't you do it, you little rascal. Fuck, oh, okay. Didn't want to have to massacre entire species for taking a bag of marbles, but here we are. All right, let us in. We got your bag of marbles. You didn't even see it. We could have just made that up. Here you go, brother. I wonder if you can just walk past without giving them to him. Turn the magnet off the barricade. <laughs> hey, I was gonna say. Um. Hello. Hope you're hungry. Hell yeah, man. Special of the day. What do you got? Gorehound soup. We got the roasted garlic and the mystery steak. All right, um, I'll take a mystery steak. Thanks, brother. All right, I can get up here. I can get up here for, for sure. I... <laughs> ah. Oh, dang. Come on, this is the one. Oh, there's nothing up here. <laughs> I fall down here later. Uh, what's up? Oh, I'm not gonna rat out the doorman, okay? Alright, you boys might have to patch this one out, I think. Um... <laughs> There's nothing he can do! It's over! Finish me, coward. I don't... Do I have to? No, I'm good, brother. You know what? Live and let live. Yes. I'm still killing these guys. It's different, okay? These guys are henchmen. And they got bees. What's wrong with my hat? Man, I wonder what would have happened if I killed him. Or if you, you could kill him. I'm guessing you can. Oh. Oh, this is where I was trying to jump up. Oh, good God! What the hell? That wasn't so bad. Now what the hell are we doing in the junkyard, I hear literally no one ask. Well, the bodyguard from the club is gone, so we can't get into the club. Which, to me, it sounds like it would be much easier to get into the club, but apparently that's not how that works. We also don't know the password, but luckily, we do end up finding her and... We get the password from someone else. On our way out, the doorman of the junkyard thanks us for not writing them out and gives us a health upgrade. There's actually quite a few choices and consequences in this preview. It's it's super rad. Before heading back to town though, there was another path that I, I didn't check out. And down this path, we find that fisherman who the tinkerer originally gave this gunbrella to. But of course, the fisherman isn't the murderer. That'd make one hell of an hour and a half Metroidvania. But he tells us the man who had this gunbrella has a scar on his face. I start to head back to Allendale, but I get stopped by Mama. And her fate was sealed then and there for being on the thumbnail. Oh god, what have I walked into? I'm so wounded! Your name's Mama? Oh, she's the... She was on the poster in the, in the cult room. I remember you. 
Good God. <laughs> Look, some of the bosses kind of look like they're from Terraria, but that's fine. 100% there's something behind this waterfall. <laughs> oh my god, not even just a secret, this is a whole area. I shouldn't have come here. Oh my god, I forgot I was looking for this kid. He would have starved to death. Don't worry, little man. We're taking you home. We are finally in the club. All right, let's go. Ooh, uh, this club, this club kind of sucks. Do I like music? Of course I do. Some of the stuff I'm listening to. All right, um, new Pierce the Veil albums, a banger. Trophy Eyes, Suicide and Sunshine is fantastic. Alt, a local Australian band, one of the best albums I've heard this year. The new Currents album, current favorite album of the year, and of course it's not even close. Sleep Tokens take me back to Eden. Beautiful, Polaris, Beartooth. Wind Waker, Make Them Suffer, have all released banging new tunes. I even like the new Code Orange. Uh, there's also... We learned this weapon belonged to a man named Max. He sold out his junkyard buddies to the authorities, and this is our best lead yet. I have no idea what this obelisk thing does in this bell. Not a clue. Now oh, we gotta get to the top of this mountain. I guess we're going with this nice little family here. No limo. Which is a, a little alarming because I've seen what this game can do. Ah, oh, we can't. We can't go up. It's the law, kid. Got a bowl of cereal laid out some envelopes, some documents, and you know I had. Sleepy Viva, Al Kunalabira. Okay, but how are you gonna get past this? <laughs> that family's gonna be eaten by the fish. Oh, fuck! It's wildlife. No! What the hell, man? I don't want to kill this dog. He's got his little dog kits there. Can I deny this fight? Okay, look. Some of the boss fights might need a little work. Um, you can just kind of juggle them into death. Or maybe I'm just really good. That's probably not it. I'm sorry, sorry. Oh no! I stole their hawk leg! There he is! That's, that's the man that killed my family! Uh -huh. Wait. Is that my baby? How did he know I was there? He's cheating, dude. That's for. What the hell? I respect that. Dono. This this fucker's using my baby as a ticket to the upper world. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna kill you. What what do you mean? No 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 We get a three years later and now we're in prison. But this is where the preview ends, unfortunately. If you wanna see me finish this one when it releases, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, support the hell out of the video. This is our start to our Metroidvania month. Plenty more on the way, some weeb shit, some other good shit. I do want to play Blasphemous too, okay? And I will make a video on it. I just don't have a code yet, so hopefully I can get it early and actually get a video out in time. If not, there might be a bit of a delay on that one. But, um, grab some merch. See you soon. Yeah.